How many times do I have to keep telling you social media is not a magic bullet? Okay, okay. It seems we're gonna have to talk about this again. So stay tuned for after the intro. What's going on? My name is Mark with Echelon Media, helping you <laughs> elevate your story. Welcome back. So, as I mentioned in a prior episode, social media is not a magic bullet. It just isn't. But for whatever reason, you go onto Facebook, you go onto Instagram, and you think, if I just do one really good post, I'm gonna kill it. And one of the things that I've realized is that it's not about the one post. It's about multiple posts because you want to constantly show up. But before I continue, I want to make sure that if you happen to be watching this on the YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe and you hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date with these videos as they come out every single week. So, like I mentioned before, social media is not a magic bullet. It is not a cure-all and a fixative for all of your business problems. The thing is, it's a lot like networking in that you need to actually engage in people. And you know that if you go to a networking event, you don't just go the one time, make a huge impression on someone, and then you guys are buddies for the rest of your lives and you do constant business together. That's just never been the case. What ends up happening is that you get in touch with them a couple of times, you get to feel it out and really get to know each other before you go and decide that you want to pull the trigger and exchange value or in this particular case, money. Now, let me go over a few ways that you can take advantage of this. One, of course, is understand that it's going to take a few points of contact for you to develop that relationship. Number two, understand that you are developing a relationship and it's, just, it's not just the one time, which leads into number three, you wanna maintain some consistency on whatever platform or platforms that you decide to go with for your social media marketing campaign. And that's it for the short Cribs Notes version of this, at least. So if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with these videos every week. And of course, give it a thumbs up so that I know you like this. Or if you don't like this, give me two thumbs down so you can really let me know how much you hate this video. Of course, if you happen to have any questions or if you're just a little bit confused, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. Like I mentioned before, you need to show up. You need to be present in order to be relevant on social media. I know this seems like it takes a lot of work, but the thing I would think about when it comes to using social media is if you're really excited and fired up about your job, your business, whatever it is that you're doing, your hobby, the thing that you're putting out there into the world, you're gonna wanna talk about it from the hilltops. You're not gonna wanna shut up. And so use social media as the platform to do that on. And you can do it as many times as you possibly could. Obviously, with respect to the rules of that platform. You can do this hundreds if not thousands of times on Twitter because Twitter is considered the noisy place and you need to put up the most um, elaborate and the best highlights of your day, of your week, or whatever happens to be of the things that you've created on Instagram because Instagram is a lot more curated. Uh, Facebook as well tends to be a lot more specific because you're trying to grab people's attention because you're competing with with videos of dogs and kittens and grandparents are looking at pictures of their grandkids and looking into how the rest of the family is doing or people are getting wrapped up in, in politics on Facebook. So you really got to stand out on Facebook to catch people's attention on their timeline. But all that being said, you want to show up. The next thing that I mentioned is remember that this is not just a one-time deal. Like I mentioned earlier, you don't just go to a networking event, wear your flashiest outfit and everyone's just gonna magically fall in love with you and throw money your way. It just doesn't work that way. You have to develop a rapport and establish several points of contact before they finally decide, hey, this guy's cool. And so with that, you have to remember that you have to do it on a fairly consistent basis. Because like I said earlier, you're gonna wanna shout 
from the Hilltops the benefits and the value of what it is that you do or the product that you sell. So you want to stay consistent and relevant and you want to stay up to date as much as you possibly can so that people know that you are doing what you say you're doing. It's not just a one-time deal. Part of this is because people want to be able to trust you. And if they see that you're doing this consistently over a period of time, then it's easier for them to trust you because they see that you're really walking the talk. Speaking of staying relevant, oh, I should probably make a post right now. Hmm, busy working on another episode. What's up? I hope you're ready for this next episode. And so with all of those points being said, making sure that you put your best foot forward, showing up, respecting the platform, and making sure that you stay present on all of the platforms you decide to go with, I hope that this helps give you a better understanding and how to leverage social media for your small business or whatever entrepreneurial venture you happen to be working on. Honestly, it's just as much of a learning process for me. I'm figuring this stuff out as I go. And frankly, some things I have yet to apply and I'm trying to find a more consistent time to do so. So it's just as much of a learning process for all of us. That said, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, do me a huge favor give it a thumbs up because it really does help give the channel a lot more visibility when people see that, hey, this guy actually kind of knows what he's talking about. If you have any questions because you think I know what I'm talking about, go ahead and leave that down below in the comment section or if you actually want to call me out on something that doesn't seem to make sense, do the same thing as well. Now, if you happen to want to watch the rest of the series, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date with these videos as they come out every single week. Thanks again for showing up and hanging out with me for the little time that we had together. You can certainly do anything else with your time, but I appreciate you being here. As always, I hope that this has been informative. My name is Mark with Eshelon Media, helping you <laughs> elevate your story. Peace out, and I'll see you later.